Adam with Edge. I'm back with Jeremy, the OS deployment guy at Microsoft. Um, tell us what you're going to show us today. Thanks, Adam. Um, yeah, I'm back, and I wanted to show you what the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit 2010 beta installation experience looks like and really focus on one feature called User State Migration Tool Hard Link Migration. Now, this in the past would have typically done a user state gather, would have taken 30 minutes to 60 minutes, uh, either save that locally if you had space to double instance those files locally, or do a network share or an external hard drive, but that took a lot of time in, in essence. Now with the user state migration tool hard link migration, what we can do is single instance those files, create a catalog of links to those files, we wipe the disk, it's a full clean OS install, wipe everything but those files, when we reinstall Windows 7 or Windows Vista, it basically puts those links back into the right location, so it's completely seamless to the end user. The process, instead of taking an hour or two hours to do the you know, user state capture and restore, might take five minutes all up in your entire deployment process end-to-end, -end, even if you've got you know, 20, 30 gigs of user state files. So let me show you what that looks like, and let me show you kind of the user experience of the, of the deployment wizard and walk through to kick off a light touch deployment using Microsoft Deployment 2010 beta. So we've had this um, in beta since Friday, uh, January 9th. It's downloadable to anyone uh, via the Microsoft Connect uh, portal. So to kick off the deployment, we've inserted the USB external um, drive, a thumb drive. I can, I can opt to join a domain here if I'd like to, or I'm, in this case, I'm just going to join a work group as I don't have a network connection in place. I can select the time zone uh, for this machine. I'm going to stick with Pacific time. And here's really one of the more powerful aspects of, of this deployment tool, that I can manually decide what, um, what applications I want to install on this machine. So picture a, an environment with hundreds of users, and your marketing users probably won't use the same applications as your, you know, maybe your field sales users or your engineering teams or if you've got multiple user role types, you can actually get to one single image with application selection. And it takes a minute to kick this process off. So we're going to select communicator here in live meeting, for example. And I can determine the password, or I can skip the screen altogether if I don't want the users or the IT admins are kicking off the deployment to determine the password. We can use a default. And before I begin, let me show you what's on this machine, just to make sure that we see uh, what, how much user state is there. So I'm going to go into my uh, administrator's documents and look at the properties. We've got about 20 gigs of files, um, roughly 9,500 files and roughly 600 file folders that we're going to be migrating. Now this would have taken at least 30 minutes to do, even if you were migrating these locally to another part of the disk using USMT versions 3 and, and earlier. So we would have normally moved them to a protected folder, usually in, in MDT we call it the mini NT folder off the C root. Um, those files stay there until the end of the deployment. Uh, the installation task sequence is, is almost completed. Then we move everything out of mini NT and back into the documents folders and the registry folders and wherever else that user state is kept. So when we begin the installation, what it's going to do is run through a, a bit of a pre-flight check to make sure that the, that the hardware is uh, up to scratch for Windows Vista and has everything it needs to continue the installation. Then it's going to run uh, user state gather against all of those uh, files and settings from that administrator account and any other account on the machine. And this process is, as I said earlier, is probably going to occur in about a tenth the time as it would normally, even if you were saving those files locally or to an external USB hard drive. Okay. So there we have it. See, so we started about 11.48 or 49, and 11.50 we were done with our user state gather. So about two minutes, we just basically gathered, we found and gathered uh, 20 gigs, almost 10,000 files, and almost 600 folders of, of personalization. Okay, so that was cool. And that's going to save us time on the install again. On the, we don't have to move them all back. Exactly. On the back end, it does the same thing. And again, this is seamless to the end user. So when he comes back to his machine, all the files are in the right folders. He or she doesn't know that they've you know, there are different positions on the, on the physical hard disk. They don't care. Everything works as it should. Okay. Now, what do I have to do as an IT pro to make MDT available to my users? So, basically, MDT, it's been around for, for quite a while now. It actually started out as the Business Desktop Deployment Solution Accelerator um, 
back in around 2000, 2003, 2004, with, um, with the advent of, of server deployment support, we renamed it to Microsoft Deployment Toolkit, and it's been around basically um, for, the, for the release of Windows Server 2008, and it supports things like uh, System Center Configuration Manager and adds more zero-touch options to that tool set. Or you can use Light Touch standalone like I'm showing today. Cool. So now we're going to boot into uh, Windows PE and it will, it will continue on its, its deployment process fully automated again, fully unattended. It will just run. This one will usually go end to end with that much user state and it will take 31 minutes or so. It all depends on how robust that machine is. So for example, if, if I do it on the T61, that machine that I have um, server on, it'll do it in 23 minutes. It's just, it's amazing, because literally if I've got it sitting next to a, a ghost server like we have in one of our labs, mm -hmm. to image the drive just with sector-based, you know, imaging, like to do, if I did a full machine backup type backup. Sure. It takes about 35 minutes, and this will beat it by 12 minutes with full setup specialization, the whole thing. That's crazy. Yeah, and it, it, it can be used on any, the Dell or a Lenovo or a Toshiba, it doesn't really matter. It, it's completely um, HAL independent, language independent, it, it just works. The, part of the cool stuff that you'll see with this once it boots back into Windows 7 is that it will dynamically install those apps that I pre-selected before, communicator, live meeting, and you'll see the whole MSI installation process of those. Um, the main point there is that you spend 60 seconds up front running through the light touch wizard and everything just configures itself then automatically at the end and it you know, will do everything from installing app to join the domain to enabling BitLocker. And you're only, you're only required to be present at that machine for 30 seconds or 60 seconds. And you could even make custom settings that I and I, the control file for those wizards, fully automated to where you just hit begin, and the whole thing will begin with one touch. Yeah. And then that's really cool deployment. Or I could write a batch and send it out and make it zero touch without using any other systems management tools and have a zero touch deployment very easily. You could make it a logout script for people, just tell them log out Friday night before they leave. Yeah, yeah. anything, command. anything that will kick off a command that will run through that. And so, if you had a single site like a call center, I could send out a a, a package that would automate the whole thing out, like you said, log off or however you want to do it, that would kick off the process. And you know, that night or an hour later, everybody's on Windows Seven or Windows Vista, full user state migration, the apps that they need to have, etc. So it's pretty cool. All right, so we've completed our entire operating system uh, installation. We've migrated user state from one machine to the next. We don't have any errors to report. The operating system uh, deployment completed successfully. Now we can go in and look at uh, our documents. And we'll see that all the documents that were on the previous machine, remember this was a clean install, moved over. So everything that I had on my XP machine moved into the right location in Documents. The Documents folder, everything else is there. I'm ready to work. I've got all my files, everything I need. And I've also installed uh, the applications that I need. So I've got now already installed on this machine um, my Office Live meeting that I installed dynamically. Communicator uh, was installed from what we selected earlier. And I had Office already baked into the core image, but all of these apps are ready to be used, and I can be productive right away. So about 30 minutes end to end, everything was migrated, full OS install, clean install, mm -hmm. and all my apps and all my settings, everything's there. Tell us, where do we go to get the deployment toolkit? So MDT right now is on connect.microsoft.com. Uh, version 2010 beta was just released on Friday, January 9th. So you can go there and get that tool set. It requires the Windows Automated Installation Kit, which was released to the Download Center. So Microsoft.com slash downloads, you can get the Windows Automated Installation Kit ISO files. And you can start doing Windows 7 deployments right now. All right. This was cool. Thanks. Thank, thank you.